before you get up and go. It looks like we're gonna do... That's good, that's good. Trims for takeoff, that's normal. Fuel selector is on. Doors and windows. Keep the window open if you want some fresh air. Time note. The time is 12.14 for noon. That was a quick pit stop. Okay, we got this, that, that, that. Runway is good, clear on the right. Crossing runway 1735, clear on the left. Looks like we are just done, done, done. Wind direction's good. Abort plan is ready. Okay, before takeoff, check plate. There are before takeoff or there are to pre taxi, man. Before takeoff. Uh, uh, I don't think this is going to take you there. No? I don't think so. I think we're going to have to. Uh, you got a back taxi here. I don't think this is going to take you there. Let's make a, make a turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is... Go right, and then swing the tail to the right, and... Off we go, boy. Look at you, look at you, look at you. Beautiful. Make a left now, go straight. Left on one seven, left on back taxi, runway five. Okay. I don't know why, when the tail is down, this keeps on sliding back. But as soon as we get airborne, everything sits in there. It's the pitch attitude of that airplane. When it's taxiing, it's like nose at five degrees, nose of pitch. Things just keep sliding. You know, if you make a right now on runway five, you're only losing a thousand foot. I mean, it's your discretion. There's plenty of runway for this airplane to make a right and go. You want to just do it? Well, I don't fear it. I'm not going to go to Okay, watch the tail. Don't let it swing too much. As end po, they're going to get to the masseur. Back taxi, yeah. I'm going to get to back taxi. I'm going to get to the back taxi. I don't know. I think they run out of concrete. But they don't have to get to the back taxi. What's the back They run out of concrete. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Yes, it's here, Tower. Yes, it's here, was a dish. It's here, dish. I don't know, it looks like a narrow, narrow taxiway. I don't know, I don't know if you want to go over there. No, it's better than back taxi, better than back taxi, yeah. That you tell it a little bit slower on that. Yeah, 
80, 90, אין בעיה, מה אתה יכול? אה, אוקיי, אוקיי, טוב, התיק זה שיהיה ככה. אתה בקטע של... אהבת את התיק הזה. לא, זה נאבר וואן, נאבר וואן. אוקיי, אני אאשר אותו ופול גז, אתה כבר... Let's go North Carolina, baby! סאס, דו את. הרווחת? היעד כבר מחובר? הכל מחובר, מה זה יעד? יאי, everything is on, you're good, just... אוקיי, סטיק קדימה, סטיק קדימה. סטיק פורוורד, that's right, keep the stick forward, excellent, get that tail up. סטיק פורוורד, get that tail up, right runner, very nice, stay directional control, beautiful, hold that pitch, not too much, stick forward, get that stick back, you want to have that pitch out of this for climb. Right there, hold it there, right runner, left runner. Okay, there you go, off she goes. נראה לי שהפיץ' אפס הזה לא ממש במקום. אתה רוצה להבריא עם קצת נוז בק פיץ'? כן, אחרת למה כל המאמץ הזה? אני לא מבין מה איפה הפיץ' עוזר לך פה. אבל אתה... עצרים, עצרים, עצרים. אתה צריך סטיק פורוורד. אז אתה מחזיק אותו פורוורד, הרי אין לחץ ש... אין מהירות, אין לך לחץ. ברגע שאין לך גבול ויש לך לחץ, אתה לא במקום שלא אתה רוצה להיות. אוקיי, אוקיי, אני מבין מה אתה אומר. מה אתה אומר? למה... The stick forward and normal trim instead of just trimming whatever you want to trim. Yeah. I'll trim Pokemon Mario. So this is more like the good stuff. This is the stuff that's important. This is the stuff that's trimmed that's required. Okay. Because when you shoot the stick, the stick is off. But you don't want to Okay. If you want to see more. It's it's pilot preference. I've heard people take off with a little bit of back trim, a little bit of forward trim. Mark it up on the POH. Is it? The POH. The POH says trim for takeoff. Whatever the mark is. FS. FS zero. Yeah. Trim zero. Yeah. Okay. Well, is it mishtane? If old man is a pachot man, I'm not sure. Uh, what's the likelihood of you uh, staying at 500 feet for about uh, five ten minutes so I can get the winds along? Because at 500 feet they'll have good reception. If you climb up, I can't get my winds along forecast. I'm not sure if we're going to get to the zone where we're going to get to the zone. I'm still getting... I'm still getting 4G here, no problem. דווקא אני חושב שיותר גבוה יש יותר גבוה, אבל... אז למה לא ווינס, אה ווינס על אופטימום מחשב אתה רוצה פשוט, זה אוקיי. לא, ווינס על אופט על ה-GPS אתה יכול לגעת כשאתה על האלטיטוד, אבל אם אתה רוצה לגעת את הפורקאסט, עכשיו, בסדר, זה מאוד סקנד, הכי טוב זה לגעת את האונליין, ואז אתה מגיע את הפורקאסט. בלי אקשל, אבל... אתה יודע, זה אופטי, אני לא חושב שאני מגיע לך טובה פה, בוא נראה. בואו נראה אם יש לך טובה. Just watch out for any of those obstacles at uh, 500 feet. You want to, you don't want to hit a 600 foot antenna. So look outside for any obstacles. No, I'm not getting. I'm getting 4G LTE, but I'm not getting uh, the load page, uh, page load. Okay, forget it. You're right. Forget it. Let's get up there, let's get those tailwinds. Let's get up to, uh, 5,500. Dropping executive, let me fly back on. Left base, runway 9 let's go. Dropping executive. Let's get up to 5,500, go with 5,500. As if I have a bite of hot dogs, עכשיו מי נמצא? אופרייטינג נורמל! אופרייטינג נורמל! בבית החדש, בבית החדש, מי אתה עם שותפים עוד פעם? לא, 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 לקחתי לבד, גמרנו, that's it. עזבו אותי בשקט. אתה לבד על כל הבית. כל הבית שלי, עזבו אותי בשקט. בעל הבית איפה נמצא? בעל הבית קומה ראשונה. או, אז עדיין לך יש את הקומה השנייה. כן, אתה יודע, עם האישה, ילדים, מגיעים, סבבה, אתה מבין? אז אתה על איזה דירה נמצא? של שתי חדרים או... Two bedroom rear. There's a one bedroom front and a three bedroom owner. So three family. אה, זה three family. מבחינות? סבבה. סבביסטי. בחורה משהו דרך צבי לא מצאת? מה? אוקיי! מה ש... 
chicken. No, it's good, man. There you go. He's a bit of 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 החברה שלי בארץ הייתה חברה, הייתה טובה, בית ספר, היא אמרה לי, תלך, תלך. הלכתי, ניסתה לסדר לי שתי בטטות, אמרתי לי, בוא, אני אזור הבא. אה, בואי. מתי פעם אחרונה היית שם? אתה לא הולך לשם, שלמה הלכת פעם אחרונה. שלמה, ואיך קוראים לה? קציצה, היה גם הבעל הבית שם, כן. בוא'נה, יש לנו פה הדווינס, לא קטן, אני רואה. 0908 Now we're 050, a little bit of headwind This is kind of a leg top This is a leg top at North Carolina This is a leg top This is a leg top, it's good, it's good Let's see how many miles 162 miles, this is a leg top I think we're gonna steep, kind of push it up, off, off, back up for like four or five hours the engine's getting, because it's the fuel burn, excuse me, the oil burn is getting, you know, better now. The feeder I see, uh, the ringing were kept the zigrug of them, so, the feeder I see is a very fast, you understand, they're coming from the ringing, they're getting the shift of them, and they're getting the shift of them, and when you get the ring, if you look at it, you'll see that the surface, היא לא מבריקה. לא מבריקה, לא. אוקיי, okay. עכשיו היא תוציא את המינגים החוצה ותסתכל, מבריק. מבריק. כמו זכוכית. זאת אומרת, זה הזכוכית הזה, הכל ת... התאים את עצמו. עבר תהליך, תהליך זיקוק, התאים או לא התאים, זהו, יותר זה כבר לא משתנה. מה שמתחיל להשתנות עכשיו, אה, זה הצילינדר. הצילינדר מתחיל... אה... אז בוא נעשה ככה, נגיע לקרוז, נוריד את הכמות. במקום 15 דקות, ניתן לו 5 דקות לנוח. יותר. מה שאתה רוצה. ככה, אתה יודע, שהוא, אתה יקבל את הזצים האלה, אבל לא זצים כמו שהיה עד עכשיו. אני חושב, בלי שום קשר למה שאמרת, שבשביל אלסקה אני צריך ללמוד לעשות את הכל יותר לאט. אני אצל לואיס, בדיוק כמו הטייסים של יונייטד, מה שהוא אמר אתמול. אני, אין לי זמן אפילו לפתוח, זה הרגל כבר, זה הרגל שלי, יש לי. אין לי זמן להסתכל אפילו לצ'קליסט. אני אצטרך לצאת לפסות הטק, מניע, פאק, יוצא, הולך. חוזר כבר מכבה את המסוק כמעט בדרך כבר לפני שאני מתכנס אפילו. This is gonna be a problem. If you go to Alaska, and you're gonna get a check out, and you're gonna do it like you did it in Linda, he's not gonna like it. He would want you to lose the checklist. And using the checklist keeps you out of trouble. נכון, אני מסכים איתך. ובטיסות האחרונות שהיו אצל לינדה, ניסיתי להכניס את עצמי לראש. למרות שאתה זוכר את זה בעל פה, תוציא את הבדיקה, תסתכל, רדיה. אופן את הצ'קליסט ורדיה. אולייז לוק את הצ'קליסט. That's right. אתה חושב, זה מה שהוא ירצה לראות, נכון? Of course, use your checklist, you're gonna get checked out. אחרת הוא יהיה מודאג, אני חושב שהוא יהיה מודאג. 52-37, look, checklist, I am actually recording all the flight time too, you see how... I know exactly how much the fuel burn, how much the oil burn, everything is recorded on the logbook. You know this is worth money when you sell the airplane. What kind of flying you did with the airplane? Right there, there's the logbook, enjoy. Okay, we got one, that was a short leg, we kept the speed up, 1.36. And we landed in Romeo Bravo Whiskey. And now we're going to Charlie Tango Zulu. We got the same crew members here. Now we're going to the top because it could be that there's a chance that it's going to be a wall. It's tailwind, yeah, but I think it's going to get better. Let's see. Already changing to 100. You'll see as we're switching it's going to go 150, 200. When you get to 200 you're getting a nice push. So what are we doing now? 2200? Yeah, let's keep climbing. Let's do 55. And you know what? It's cooler. The engine's running cooler. You know, it seems like a nice overall... And the air is thinner, so you're getting more, more true air speed as you're getting up. Da 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 da. I got 52.37.
הלאסקה הזה, באיזה שעה הפסיקו, באיזה שנה הפסיקו לעשות אותו? הלאסט וואן וואז פרדיוס וואז אן אייט אף מודל, זה אן אי מודל, אלפא, זה היה אלפא בראבו צ'ארלי דלתא אקו פוקשרט Foxtrot was in the 50s, I think 58, 59, somewhere around there. And then the company went bankrupt. Oh, they went bankrupt. That's it, went bankrupt, no more. No, it's a good airplane, uh, but uh, the management, yeah, management, you know, stealing money and not, you know. And the, and the Piper Cub did so much better because it was about the same, you know, airplane, but... It was much cheaper in price. Oh, but man, it's not the so cost much. of manufacturing a J3 Cub was less than the cost of this. And it's not much, maybe 5 or 8 percent. But people were going for a brand new airplane that's cheaper. That's why the Piper Cub was a much better success. But if you do a flying this and a Piper Cub, this is 10 to 15 miles faster. A much better performance aircraft. Not so much. And I kind of like this one, it flies better, and, it, and it's a little bit more fun flying this. Because it's a much shorter airplane, the landing gear is much more narrow, uh -huh. and it's more slick. It's a different type of airplane. Uh, but uh, I got nothing wrong with a J3 Cub, I like a J3 Cub, I'll, I'll definitely get a J3 Cub one day. Okay, we got a quarter of a quart now, as, as far as oil burn, much less... And 9.8 gallons of fuel, and we got one more quart in the back, so, but we can buy a quart over there in, uh, in, uh, it's very possible, very possible, because the engine is kind of slowly breaking in now, so. Okay, we got this thing here, that's completed, that's good, that's good, and that's good, excellent. Mark for complete. As a bus, a bear bear, I'm going to sheet box. So they'll buy a shit fox, exactly. We're gonna check up on a shit fox. There's a, there's a mechanic over there. We told him to check the engine, check the spark plugs, but uh, I don't think he did anything, so I don't know. I don't know. If you gotta put new spark plugs now, okay? Check the oil, put new spark plugs. Start it up with new spark plugs. Start it up and go, you may be okay. Four stroke. You may be okay, maybe. I don't know. Eight. Four cylinder. Just like this motor, same thing. All the plugs are fold up. Uh, carbon or oil just messed up. I don't know if it's not going to be an emergency landing. Yeah, it was in front of us. Ah, yeah, 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 exactly. The, uh, the, mag, the mag started going, bum, 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 bum. the whole thing started shaking and stuff, so I just called it off. No, I didn't do it. I put it in a trailer to New York and let somebody take a look at that motor. Well, get rid of that motor. That motor is no good. I've never flown an airplane to get so hot. Never. And the machine there didn't like it. Wait, but what was the problem with the machine that he bought? What was the problem? Ground loop. The guy crashed it. It had a wing tip, the wing strut, the landing gear, the tail. It had a lot of repair. Fuel tank. Because of the ground loop, because of the wing, because of the nose. Yeah, 
I'll show you the plane. It's here. I'll show you on the picture. Show you the airplane. You've never seen a kit box? Oh, there you go. I'll show you the picture. Show you the Mr. Shit Fox. Where is Mr. Shit Fox? I, I generally do not like that airplane. I saw the bumper. My was ill. I took off from Florida. I did a fuel stop here in Walterboro. I took off. The door opened in flight. I lost my bag. I landed. I got the door back. Everything got everything back. A big airplane. I only need big because I don't know. Open the door. The door opened in flight. So I got the. Um, you see, the door in the cut box doesn't open with the airflow. Like this door opens in flight, the airflow is going to push it stronger to close. On the kit fax, the door opens up. But when the door opens up, it's going to stay up. It's going to stay up. It's not going to airflow back. It's going to be so on, it's going to be so on. What's the advantage of having the door open? Yeah, 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 yeah. If you want to fly with doors open, yeah, it's nice.
It's gonna be some labor, you know, it's not like taking an L on out. You gotta take Listen, you gotta go now and get another airplane. How do you know you're getting a good airframe? You check. You check. You know, there's nothing to check. You know this airframe is good up and down the East Coast all day long. Why would you change it? You already got a good airframe. It's hard to get good airframes. That fly straight. Let go of the controls. Let go of the rudder. I understand, I understand. But you hear, you have every hundred hours I put fifty bucks. Let's see, fifty dollars an hour for maintenance reserve every hour, hundred hours. This um this airplane has about three hundred and fifty two hours. So about uh three and a half or let's call it 300 hour inspections already. Another 100 hour inspection coming up in about 50 hours. So, every 100 hour inspection average about 5,000 hours. Wow. So you're looking at... Oh, yeah, that's a big answer. Big answer? My yesh and my toss of the katana is 5,000 dollars. I don't think, I don't think it's that. Okay, 2,600 hours cylinders. אה, אבל זה לא כל פעם, אתה אמור לעשות את זה פעם אחת וזהו, ארבע, חמש שנים לא לראות אותו בכלל. יכול להיות. איזה אלפיים שעות לא, שלא ידבר איתך יותר על זה. אתה יודע מה, יכול להיות, יכול להיות. אני לא יודע אם אלפיים, אבל maybe it's gonna give me... למה לא אלפיים? מה הטיפיו שלו? Maybe it's gonna be about a thousand hours. למה? אין למנוע הזה טיפיו? מה, אין לו טיפיו למנוע הזה? זה לא טיפיו של אלפיים שעות? I think it's seventeen hundred. אה, אוקיי, לפחות. לפחות אלף שבע מאות על זזים, זזים אנחנו, אבל לאט. אה, 78, זה טוב. אתה יכול להישאר ב-4800 או להישאר ב-55? אנחנו עולים, לאט לאט, אתה יודע, מה יש לך? אתה יכול להישאר ב-4800. איזה יופי, תראה כמה זה שונה מניו יורק, ואפילו מפלורידה. אין פה אנשים, אין פה אנשים.
הכוח עדיין, שמע, לא, לא מזהיר, לא מזהיר בכלל.
בטוח שכולם זה אלקטריק דיוון... לא, אתה יכול להיות הידראוליק, אתה יכול להיות אחרים. לא, זה הידראוליק. או כל ההידראוליק האלקטריק... אני חושב שכמה מהמונים יש לך מנהל 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 כדי להתחיל ולהתחיל. אתה יכול להתחיל ולהתחיל 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 ול
hydraulic. Definitely hydraulic. You don't have, you know, a manual flaps or electric. Fuel system. Let's talk about the fuel system. Yeah, gravity fed. Generally, it's gravity fed. Sometimes you have an electrical drip gravity pump fed. and uh, mechanical hydro uh, mechanical engine driven pump. Now, talking about that, the airplane you're gonna take the check ride on has both. What? Airplane you're gonna take the check ride has both. Has an engine driven fuel pump. An electrical driven fuel pump. Oh, yeah, booba. No. Why is that? It doesn't see. Because it doesn't have gravity fed. The no wings, gravity fed. Too low. Too the low. wings are too low. They're too below low. they're below the uh, below the power plant. Okay, very good. Excellent. Oil system? How is the oil lubricating the power plant? You know about that? Engine driven oil pump. It's got engine driven oil pump. And where is the oil going through the engine? Where is it what's it lubricating? What's the oil lubricating inside? All the moving parts. All the moving parts. Does the oil go through the cylinders? Oh yeah. Through the crankshaft bearings? Oh yeah. The camshaft bearings? Oh yeah. The piston rods on the bottom? The tie rods for the pistons? If it moves, the oil is there. Very good. What about the valves? Valves better. Also getting lubrication. So remember, oil lubricates everything in the engine. Oh, uh, everything. Now let's talk about the electrical system on a fixed wing airplane. Yeah. 14, 28. Either 14 volt, 28 volt. What's powering the electrical system? Where do you get power? Alternator. Either alternator or generator. generator. Either door, either or. There's nothing else. What about this airplane? Where are we getting power now? Solar. I don't know, we have solar panels on the wing. I didn't see any solar panels on the wing. Is solar electric? Well, we got a battery pack, but I didn't see any solar panels. It's so quiet. Okay, this airplane has two magnetos to provide sparks. And that's what's providing spark. That's the electrical system for the motor itself. Okay. But the power we have for intercom, for radio, for GPS, for all that stuff, is all battery powered. Okay. Now, let me ask you another question when we're yeah. talking about electrical system. Uh-huh. When you have an electrical system, usually you have a battery, right? Yeah, battery. battery. When you lose the generator or the alternator, how long do you have battery powered before everything goes dead? Two hours. Uh, not necessarily. I mean, if you reduce the electrical load, you may be able to hours. But if you keep the normal load, it's usually about 30 minutes before you deplete no. it. No. That's what's my, from my experience. 30 minutes. Well, no. Yeah, 30 minutes, you deplete it. That's it. Okay, so... What I recommend when you have any electrical failure is to reduce the load. And of I course. think you've done it on the helicopter. You had some... Uh, master off. Boom. You put the master off and then everything starts okay. it. Now, over here, if we have any electrical short or smoke or whatever, it's all portable. portable. If this is going to smoke, to be belief, you pull the GPS out and you throw it out the window. It's easy. If the TCAS is acting up, you throw it out the window. It's easy to get rid of it. Make sure you don't hit anybody. But if you have an electrical system in the airplane and it's inside, there's no thing you can do. It's behind the panel. You can't get to cut the panel and throw the... Well, there's a little bit of a disadvantage when you have an electrical system. When stuff goes bad, it may just keep, you know, keep the spark, keep shorting out inside the panel, and then you have to land as soon as you can. Bop, 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 bop. What happened? Oh, boy. 95 knots, beautiful. Let's get this thing back. Let the engine cool off for about 10, 15 minutes. We're gonna shove it up again. Oh, well, you're gonna have to retrim. Every time we change the power, we have to retrim. We're definitely getting tail in here, whatever you say. Doesn't say much, but Looks like we're definitely getting tailwinds here. Okay, let's finish here, okay? Let's finish. Operation of system. Let's finish. Avionics. Let's talk about avionics. What kind of avionics do you usually have on a brand new complex, high
high performance airplane right out of the factory. I gotta give you a Cessna 206, brand spanky new 2014 to fly. What kind of avionics you gonna have there? This is the Akin of the Hunt. G1000. Ah, G1000, that's it. That's right. it. They're all coming G1000 now. I think they They got the G2000 now coming soon, but for now it's a G1000. Oh, wow. So you got to be up there in Alaska flying a 206, and it's all going to be glass. There's going to be TVs in the panel. What's giving you the picture inside the TV in the panel? Electric. Definitely electricity. But something is generating all these signs and uh, like over here. Like let's, let's pop this dyno here. Let's LCD, see. No? Uh, it's see. definitely a liquid crystal display, that's for sure. But let's pop the dyno here. Let's see what comes up on this little machine. happening here, Mr. Dynan? On? Okay, Mr. Dynan's up and running. No, 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 you're getting good talent here, I like it. Okay. This is called EFIS. This is portable EFIS, okay? But on a G1000, you're gonna have installed in the aircraft EFIS. Now look at all this thing here. We got altimeter, we got all these little symbols, we got this turn coordinator. How much is this? This one? How much is this? Yeah, about 500 bucks. No, more than 500. I think it's a thousand. A thousand dollars. But we got this electronic EFIS here, okay? It's a portable EFIS. What's generating all these symbols? Well, what's inside that's generating this? That you can have an electronic indication here. Huh? Did we said we're gonna push it, or what was the uh, last? Uh, okay, let's push it. It's actually called a symbol generator. A what? Symbol generator. Symbol generator, SG. Okay? On a G1000, just like this portable EFIS, you have a symbol generator that's actually providing you with all this little, you know, the magenta line, the airspeed indication, altimeter, all that stuff inside. Avionics, okay? A glass cockpit. What's gonna happen if the simple generator is gonna fail? Nothing. That's what's gonna happen. Gonna have a red X here. I can't I can't duplicate, I gotta start it. But you're gonna have a red X. 